Hey, good afternoon. Meteorologist Sean Cable here in the Weather Center. And boy, do we have a lot of stuff to talk about and some big changes too. most notably in regard to that big system that we've been talking about that is expected to bring snow from Thursday night, Friday, potentially into Saturday. Looks like this thing's going to move a little further west, which I think for those of you who like snow, you'll be happy with this. We may end up getting a little more snow out of the system. I do want to start uh, with this. So we have a brand new winter storm watch. This is new uh, winter storm watch basically in effect for a good chunk of southern Minnesota, northern Iowa and southeastern Minnesota from about Red Wing to Fairmont and then uh, long and south of Interstate 90. This goes into effect Thursday night, continues through Friday and into Friday night. And this is for the potential for uh, four to eight inches of snow and blowing snow as well. The Mankato, North Mankato area not included, but it's still early and we will probably do a lot of changes and tweaks to the forecast in the next 12 to 24 hours. And that could become a possibility if this thing drifts even further to the northwest. So I do, uh, let me grab my clicker here. I want to take you through what's going to be happening. First of all, the system developing down to the south, kind of along the Texas, Oklahoma panhandle. And it is going to take kind of the same track as the storm that moved through. Earlier this week, notice the snow kicking in Kansas City, Omaha to Sioux Falls by Thursday night into Friday morning. And then that system will kind of continue to push off to the northeast as we make our way through Friday into Friday night. Now, there's one really big difference uh, with this system compared to the one from earlier this week, and that is this. Notice these are isobars, those lines, and they're kind of cluttery, so I normally don't put them on my graphics, but it's important to note when we get these uh, lines so close together, it gets really, really windy. So we're going to be also dealing with some very strong wind gusts, 30, perhaps even up to 35 miles per hour. And that could end up creating areas, areas of blowing snow from uh, Friday night through Saturday and even into Saturday night. Now, here's a preliminary peek at what's going on. And I should mention we do have some light snow that's going to continue to kind of move through. Uh, as we take you through Wednesday night into Thursday morning, but accumulation amounts will be light, less than an inch, but enough to make roads a little slick. So here we go through Wednesday night. All that'll move out. We may catch a glimpse or two of sunshine on Thursday, and then our next system begins to move in Thursday night. Notice the snow kind of sneaking into northern Iowa by 6 or so p.m., and then moving northward. Here we are at midnight Thursday night, Friday, 6 a.m. Friday, and as we go uh, further into Friday, that snow will continue uh, basically in a line from the Twin Cities to Sioux Falls. I think that is where our best shot at getting some measurable snow will be. And once again, uh, we're looking at snowfall amounts. Let me uh, pop this map up here one more time. We're going to be hovering in that four to maybe seven inch range here in the warning area. But right now from the Twin Cities, New Ulm to Mankato, it could range anywhere from two to four to five to possibly even six, depending on where this system tracks. And that's something we're going to be watching very closely here. And once the system develops in the next 12 to 24 hours, we'll have a much better idea as to where this thing is going to go. And we'll be able to kind of adjust those snow forecast amounts. And the National Weather Service will tweak the winter storm watch uh, based on that, too, as we kind of make our way into the next day or so. So uh, something to uh, keep in mind. Now, the other big thing that's happening is that behind this system, it is going to get really, really cold and it's going to be windy because uh, the backside of that system is going to continue to produce some fairly strong wind gusts. So we are looking at high temperatures, single digits Saturday will be below zero for highs on Sunday and Monday. And along with that, the wind is going to keep that wind chill factor minus 25 to minus 35, especially Saturday night, Sunday, and then again, Sunday night, into Monday, although the wind will back off a little bit by Sunday into Monday. So we're talking some dangerous cold. In fact, this is going to be the coldest we've been since uh, about February 24th of 2023. It was 14 below. That's the last time we were below zero in Mankato. And if our forecast happens, uh, we're actually looking at about 12 below on Sunday morning. I haven't updated this graphic yet, but uh, that'll be 332 days since uh, we have been below zero and you can see here with the 10 day forecast we actually going to go with first alert days on Sunday and Monday we may go first alert days on Friday and Saturday too because of the snow but uh, we're going to see that snow Thursday night Friday snow and blowing snow continue into Saturday after that 
dangerous cold as we take you into the weekend. So a whole lot of stuff going on. We're going to be keeping an eye on it and uh, check the forecast, check it often because we will be updating those uh, snow forecast totals once that system really gets kind of developed and uh, starts to move to the northeast. So the forecast could change a bit, but there I think there will be some accumulation in Mankato, <clears throat> more to the southeast, lesser amounts to the northwest. Stay tuned. We'll have updates tonight uh, online and on KEYC News Now. And of course, we'll have the latest through the day Thursday and Friday, as well as this thing kind of rolls on. That's it for now. Stay with us and have a great day.